what it does is it just melts because of the warmth of your skin as well. So it just glides on pretty easily. And I'm hitting right at my waterline through the lashes. Good. And then when you blink, especially if you blink hard, it'll get on the upper waterline. Some of you actually line that. I guess I'm just not going to that kind of trouble. I don't know what my issue is. Hey, I want to put some lipstick on. Let's just do soft rose. Listen to me, I'm just way out of order. But for filming purposes, I really do like to put my lipstick on first. Usually I'll wait till last. It's not there. But then the whole time during the film, I'm like, your mouth needs something, dear. The good thing about uh, uh, soft roses is it's really soft at first. But then, if you want to, you can put on a second coat and it's a lot darker. And in that third coat look, it's really dark. I'm not going to go too far down today. I'm going to keep kind of a delicate look. What's that? Have you ever, ever noticed that when you do your lipstick, you favor one side of your mouth or the other? And when I look at it on film on me and any other YouTuber, I always feel like one, that's not quite even if you'll get that right there. I bet y'all are all doing that right now. One. <laughs> all right. Probably that this side is not low enough. It always happens. I didn't even fix it this time. I love this because it you put on the lipstick, which is a liquid lipstick. It dries within a matter of like 10 seconds. Um, you put the high gloss on it. It sets it. It's shiny. And it's very moisturizing, and you're pretty much done. You're just done. All right, I'm going to do my eyebrows. Y'all, I'm doing everything out of order. What's wrong with me? This product I really like. It's just easy, y'all. It's um, Almay's. I need to find some more. They've got out of this color. It's purple. It's a plummy purple brown, in my opinion, because that does not look purple, does it? There's no shade of purple to that whatsoever. But look how it's just, it's smooth. It does give me a nice little tail. Again, you saw go under, and then just like if you went straight up from your, <clears throat> if you go straight up like that, that's the point you want to get to right there. Like if you're going from the brow out, instead of going the brow up, and it'll give you the point, the height, height point. And then just kind of backfill. Go in front of it and pull backward. And if you want a little bit right here, same thing. Just a couple little flicks up and then move into there. So you can blend that color in. There. It's very, very little. Not adding a lot at all. Okay. Again, so I'm going to go straight through the brow up. And that right there. Do you see that little spot? That's my high point. And that is a little piece of mascara up there. How did that get up there? So now I'm going to go from my high point down to give myself a tail and backfill it. And then I'm going to backfill to that high point. See? Oops, I went a little too high there. Now I've got to fix that. Nah, fooey. So everything I just taught you didn't work. <laughs> that often is true in the makeup world. Doesn't always work, does it, ladies? Okay, that looks a little more purple, and you know why? Because there's less hair there. Let me go a little higher over here to make up for that. Mm -hmm. How's that? I think it's fine. There. I'm going to blend this in a little bit. I have less hair on that side. Do y'all have that issue? Okay, so this is... Um, Raisin Quartz 004 from Almay Eye Intense. You can get this at the uh, grocery store and drugstore. As far as 
that brand, but not that color. It's very hard to find the color. Now, once you do all that, make sure you have a spoolie brush. First of all, I still feel a hair. I got it. That's the good thing because it's all spoolie. It pulls. There's. there's it gets um, fuzzes from the hair, but also get fuzzes off your lashes. You can just do like that, and it'll take them right off. Like if you feel something going in your eye, you can do that, and it'll get it. But for now, I'm also brushing up. And what this does is any of those little lines I just made, it kind of destroys them. It kind of gets them out of sequence. And you want that so it doesn't look so um, drawn on. See how this is a little softer than that? Watch. See those little lines right there? We're going to brush right through them. Don't want to get rid of them. Just want to kind of blow their sequence enough that you don't really notice the brush marks so much. Now, one thing, did you notice it kind of bled up there a little bit? And so I'm going to have to get rid of those. <laughs> those little lines right there. 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 I did not brush this out enough. I think that's still a little too strong. Wow, it's really knocking a lot of product out today. Still feel a little hair. Oh, I'm just like ranting. I don't know. All right, so now let's do the um, chocolate bonbons. And I am going to use, I almost always use this color down here called Divinity because it's matte. But today I'm going to use that in sheets. And it is um, like a frosted champagne, you'll see. It's right there, the top one. And why am I showing you this since you can't get any more? I guarantee you they'll, they'll come back with it. See how that's almost more like a champagne white gold than just white. And that needs to come off. There. Yes, I can see much better now. That was looking through plastic. <laughs> come right under there. And I kind of go back and forth like that because it fills in the pores. And then sometimes I go right past it and come down so that this outer area almost has like a little highlighted area to kind of wake up that area a little bit. And of course inner corner straight up and down. That gets your upper and lower inner and then go across the lid. You know we're probably I just lightly going across the whole lid there. We're probably again inner corner right on the inside of your nose right in this little dark area. You want to wake that up. And that way, see how it just got both tear ducts really nice and shiny. I'm using a shiny color today. Um, I may use another color on my lid, so I just only lightly did that color. I think I will. I think I'm going to use this um, molasses chip or either Cafe Olay. I think molasses chip. I'm just going to put my finger right in it. And maybe I'll blend with sprinkles a little bit which is right next to it. Sprinkles pink. Molasses kind of, I don't know what you would call this color. Kind of goldish pink is what I'm doing. I'm just blending that across the eyelid. Just a hair up. Just a hair. So that way we're going to blend it into um, it's pretty. It's not what I was going for, but it's pretty. Oh boy, that pink sure came out that time. And up just a little bit to blend upward. I think I got more sprinkles. Look at that, y'all. I got more sprinkles, the pink on that one, and more gold on that one. So I need to blend the pink over that. Let's do that again. And come up just a little bit. Just a little bit. Yeah, it's a little more pink. I wanted more pink. So I'm glad I did that. I want more pink than gold, but I'm, I'm glad for the gold undertone. Now we need a nice transition color, and we could either use mocha, which is more of a brown, or almond. This is the mocha right there, and this is almond. I'm trying to decide. What do y'all think? Any transition color? Come on, girls. Vote. Mocha or... I guess I'm going with the almond because the almond truffle because that's this one. It's got a little 
because it's got a, a grayish pink undertone to it and that's kind of where I, what I'm going for today because I'm wearing white I kind of want like a little pinky background so this is more of a brown I don't know pink no it's a good transition color perfect perfect you know what else is perfect because these are little heart shapes is perfect for this transition color it just fits in there so look perfect little bit of fallout not bad fallout on these colors y'all today which sometimes I'm not a huge Too Faced fan because of the extreme fallout but this is a little more buttery and you know whenever you've got one that's a shimmer it's it's a little creamier anyway that's always true yeah perfect transition all right, so now we're going to use the E45, um, and that's a, a small tapered blending brush, but I use it as a crease brush, and we are going to use, instead of one of the brown colors, there's some beautiful colors. I love this dark truffle, and I love Earl Grey, but I'm going to go ahead and do Black Courant today, and that is a almost sparkly, that is so not something I would normally do. Oh my gosh, that's so sparkly. I'm going to have to turn that. That'll be great for under the eye. That's what we'll use that for. I'm going to blend this with the dark truffle. And let's just see how it goes. Now I'm going to look up because I really want my eyelid skin to grab this brush. To really deposit the color. And I'm going to go slow. Get it in there real good. Because I want it to blend really nice. Twirling it just to get the rest off of it. Out in, out in. And then blend it back out again. That's a nice blend. I like it. Now what did I do? Black Curant. That's a lot of glitter. Dark Truffle and Black Curant. Okay, here we go again. And the crease and look up so the skin, it'll just your skin will grab the brush when you look up. 